coach, uh, hard luck didn't make it to the World Cup. What's your feelings right now? Uh, it was very hard to take. I think, um, um, you know, we did all the hard work and we were almost there. Um, you know, just one step away, one game away. Um, uh, but uh, when I when I analyze back, I think the boys last six weeks that I can have worked very hard um, and uh, they they played they have to their best. Uh, lots of lots of credit to UA. They, they played very high quality cricket uh, throughout this tournament. Not to, uh, only the qualifier, the quadrangular, and I heard that they played very good cricket in uh, that 50 over tournament they had before uh, T20 series. So. Uh, it is one of the games that uh, it, I mean it's uh, hard hard to take. Uh, but uh, I, I think from the Nepal team point of view, I think we have a lot to learn. Uh, you know, of course, we have to fix our batting. Um, the bowling needs to you know straighten up a lot of things. Um, we have a lot of talent. Is that um, when it comes to this this level of tournaments, like you know, we need more experience. So next few few months i think we should be focusing on building up a few, few of the youngsters moving forward out of the game we said that ua is top order and our fielding needs to be top notch but uh, i think that proved to be the decisive factor as well what do you analyze on that yeah i mean like you know i mean we we we, we miss uh, uh, like easy couple of chances or maybe more um I mean, uh, one thing that I always believe in, especially in T20 cricket, like, you know, you cannot drop chances. Uh, but uh, having said that, like, you know, that six, first uh, in, the, in the power play, basically, in UAE, they, they really batted well. Two guys, uh, yeah, I think a lot of credit for them. I mean, one of the uh, top two batters in this whole tournament. Uh, uh, our bowlers were not bad. They, we, were, we were bowling into good areas, but they were they were good enough to still score runs. So. One of the days. 176 to chase in a batting wicket. We didn't make it. Can we say that our quality of batting is not enough for the World Cup? Um, I mean, the like you know, the, there are two, three good, good batters that we have for in, in T20. But overall, when you take the full batting order, I mean, if you really uh, analyze what I did in the uh, from the from the uh, quadrangular, I've, I've been shifting guys to see how what combination that we can have because there was a lot of. Uh, Holes where the number three spots were, we were, we were struggling. Uh, the, the finishing touch, we were struggling. Um, uh, expecting the youngsters to step up, but uh, um, there is no doubt about their youngsters have talent. But uh, when the pressure was on, they, they couldn't take it. Um, so a uh, lot of homework to do when I when we go back. You've worked with the squad for a couple of months, and you know how Nepali cricket and how the player food is. So. Uh, going forward, we have a lot of tournaments, basically young one-day tournaments. Mm. So, how do you see this team? How, how good of a future does this team have? No, the youngsters, the, the, uh, uh, we have like there is no uh, doubt about like you know their talent. It's just that uh, uh, t turning talent into the, the runs is the is the biggest uh, challenge that we have. So, even if you practice hard, like uh, uh, it, it doesn't uh, like it's not going to be enough basically. Uh, the, the playing experience is the one that we are looking for um, and uh, I mean the, the way the Dipendra is playing I think is very matured now um, and it's all about now getting one or two another Dipendras into, into the team like you know that quality. Uh, the talent is there in this team, it's just that uh, the Dipendra, if you ask me the difference between some of the other guys like Dipendra is like he's very positive. He, he, He's, the, he's going there to perform. He doesn't take any pressure. He, he, whatever the conditions, he goes and play his game. Uh, uh, skillful. He scores runs around the ground. So we we need like you know a couple of these youngsters to step into that level. When you came in uh, back in 2014, we are very good spinners. Uh, we sometimes play three uh, men spinners in the team as well. But this time we are we only went with one spinner. Do you think uh, that has any role in uh, team's performance lately? Because Dipendra has been bowling, batting, both the things. But do you think we lack quality spinner apart from something? We, we, we definitely lack uh, uh, one good left arm spinner. Uh, the left, left arm as we have here is really good enough. It's just that they haven't played enough cricket in this level. Um, <coughs> uh, Saga, uh, who, uh, who's in this squad, like, you know, I. I I compare him with uh, Basant, like is is that uh, good 
but um, he needs to play more cricket in this level. Uh, unfortunately, what happened for him was like you know the couple of games that he played, he was uh, he was under pressure. The, the 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 time period that he bowled, the batters came after him, uh, knowing that he is new to the scene, uh, so he couldn't he couldn't find a place. But uh, I'm sure the talent that he has. Uh, He'll have a very good future starting next next month with 50 over cricket, <coughs> and then uh, moving forward, like you know, once if uh, if he if he if he gets through the, the certain things, I think he, he can be a good T20 bowler as well. The last day, the last time you took Nepal to the World Cup, the whole cricketing scene, scene of the country changed. Today, a lot of fans were following the cricket. Do you think we missed a big opportunity to take cricket onto another level? It's it's a huge miss for sure. It's a is a huge miss. I, I know the impact that uh, when, uh, when a team uh, makes it to the World Cup, how much uh, like uh, the improvement comes into the players, players, the country, and the whole uh, uh, the structure. Uh, we we miss that opportunity. Um, but I, I I don't want to like you know stay uh, stay negative about it because uh, there there is another about 28 ODIs to go in this year or by now to next 12 months basically until next Feb February so these players will be playing cricket and we need to keep our ODI status and folk and build a team to the next World Cup qualifier uh, which will happen uh, very soon like you know end of the end of this year or early, early next year so um, we need to plan properly and uh, and uh, have a very good like you know year, year plan to build this team into to, to get ready for the next uh, big tournaments. Coach, uh, when you came to Nepal uh, for the first time, you showed us the dream of playing World Cup. You you took us to 2020 World Cup, but we still we missed 50 over World Cup. So this time we have missed 50 uh, 20 over uh, World Cup. So what are you planning for that 50 over World Cup or ODI status to take to further step? I I I I want Nepal to uh, you know work hard into a. In, and, and get into a, a full member status. Uh, I'm, I'm not talking about test status, but we, we should be a full member with uh, ODI and, and T20 uh, status. So um, everything that you need in a country, we, Nepal has it. There's ta enough talent. The whole country is following the game. The young, there are enough, like you know, juniors coming through the system. Um, but there are a few things that we need to do for that and. And next year, the next 12 months, I'm going to uh, work very close, of, uh, close with uh, Can, and um, I, I really wanted to, like, you know, get everything into the right track. So, uh, I mean, I won't be able to explain it to you in in a in few minutes, but there's a lot of work to do. Um, but uh, I'm very determined that uh, uh, I, I will, uh, like, you know, uh, put that uh, everything in, in basically in, in place uh, moving forward. Coach, uh, the previous generation you worked with are past their prime right now in this team. So, uh, where do you see these players, like experienced players that you said, uh, coming into the future? Will they have their role in the team or will you look for youngsters to be get used to with the team and bring more players? Um, uh, I, I just want to have a look, uh, like, I, you know, in the whole country, the best talent, because I, in the last, uh, uh, we, we started training in, in Early January, so basically we are like you know about two weeks of tra uh, tra uh, six weeks of training that I have you know I have done and and uh, very limited cricketers that I have saw. Uh, I wanted to you know go around and, and find some young, young talent, uh, uh, especially the like you know I'm sure that there'll be enough bowlers around in, in the country, and um, and I'm hearing uh, like you know they you know about the batters also uh, under 19 team talent and. And then some, some of the uh, like you know PM Cup and regional tournaments that we had. Uh, there's a lot of talent in there. It's just that uh, uh, we need to put up a program, and and uh, the program should be like you know before they reach to the national team, they should uh, play enough cricket uh, in this level, like you know development squad A team, you know getting them uh, them opportunity to play uh, uh, cricket around like you know touring, touring. You know, A teams or, or, or development squad into you know India or Sri Lanka or like neighboring countries, uh, so that they, they get the opportunity and they they know what what they need to do when it comes to the next level. So uh, yeah, there's lot 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 on, on my plate. So I'm really looking forward to like you know um, work hard in the in the next uh, 12 months to get everything right.